Hello, I'm Anna Wisniewski. Welcome to my honors thesis project presentation, Mixed Message Media. I am so appreciative to you for taking time out of your day to watch my presentation and documentary. I am a rising senior majoring in communication with a concentration in public relations and minors in business administration, entrepreneurship, and exercise sports science. Due to my interest in video production and in the topic of social media, I chose to complete my honors thesis project in the digital format of a short documentary. As with all technology, the growing presence of social media continues to change the way people live, work, and communicate with others. Based on the findings of recent scholarly studies, a Meredith campus-wide student survey, and a series of video interviews, this short documentary explores both positive and negative influences of social media in the life experiences of adults. Several paradoxical themes emerge, including connection versus isolation, public versus private, and truth versus untruth. As media users become increasingly involved in social networking sites, it is important to analyze these mixed messages and the potential impact on their quality of everyday life. Statista reports that in the year 2020, over 3.9 billion people were engaged in social media worldwide, a number that is expected to increase exponentially in the coming years. The time spent on social media also continues to increase. Statista's research shows that on average, internet users spend over two and a half hours a day on social networking sites. In Krasnova et al.'s 2015 study, Why Following Friends Can Hurt You, an exploratory study on the effects of envy on social networking sites among college-age users, it was discovered that information shared by others may contribute to the proliferation of upward social comparisons among social networking site members and, under certain circumstances, feelings of envy. While FOMO is not actually a new concept, Barry and Wong's 2020 article in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships concludes that the arrival of social networking sites and more rapid forms of communication have greatly increased the occurrences of the FOMO phenomenon among different generations. Social media has become one of the most used sources of news, making news content easily available for consumption. While the news is now easily at our fingertips, a publication by Collins et al. in the 2020 Journal of Information and Telecommunication states that social media has also ushered in new trends such as fake news, where malicious and misleading information is rapidly spreading, making the concept of fake news an everyday occurrence. As a part of my research, I was able to include eight questions into a Meredith College student success survey. All eight questions related to social media use and perceptions. An example is shown here, with the remaining responses being shared in the documentary. While the chart on the left shows that 78% of the students surveyed stated that social media makes them feel more connected to others, the chart on the right shows that more than half of those also shared that social media has made them feel more anxious during the pandemic. This is where one of many paradoxical themes emerge showing how social media has both benefits and drawbacks synchronously. Now I am proud to introduce to you my short documentary, Mixed Message Media. When I, when I hear the term social media, I think of platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter or TikTok, LinkedIn, Pinterest. The platform I use the least is Facebook because it, I think it's more of an older generation platform. The main social media that I use is Facebook. I use Facebook solely. I think social media has more pros than it does cons. It has more pros than cons. It has a balance of pros and cons. Social media has more cons. More cons. I feel like there's definitely a good amount of both.
it's great to like keep connected with people, but I think it makes our connection not as real. Social media keeps me connected to my peers that I'm not seen all the time. Even though it allows us to connect with other people, I feel like it is a time waster. It's not only a way to share news, but it's a way to connect with people and to help others. I'm retired military and I've been in squadrons all over the world and the folks that I've met, some on just a temporary basis that I quickly became friends with. I'm able to connect with them and stay tuned with them all over the world. I would say that social media does keep me more connected with my peers, but more so my peers that I don't usually see. I definitely think social media has caused feelings of missing out or jealousy. Feelings of isolation, making me feel like I'm, I'm missing out. I get very jealous of all the things that they get to do. I love to be like in everything and just be invited to lots of different things and when I'm not and I see like posts on social media it makes me feel sad and like not connected with people and then I feel like I've missed out and I won't understand things that they have done. I see friends like posting things um, and then I'm not with them. I have that feeling of missing out or um, just kind of wondering like you know why why am I not with them. I wish I lived in the day when there was no social media. I am concerned about security. Partially concerned about privacy and social media. I am a little bit concerned about privacy. I'm not overly concerned with privacy on social media. I'm not uh, concerned about the privacy beyond uh, the settings that I've carefully selected. I'm not extremely like worried about my privacy or anything like that. They screenshot that picture and then they share it to somebody else. And you go about your day not even knowing that somebody that you didn't know knows. <laughs> Ever since I learned about the security breach that happened with Facebook, I do ch take extra precautions with um, making sure my accounts are all are all set to private. Like seeing articles and like the Social Dilemma movie and all that kind of stuff, definitely concerned about privacy. <laughs> My main source for news currently comes from social media like Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. My main source of news is probably social media because I just don't look at anything else. My main source is definitely the news outlets. Probably the evening news. The good old-fashioned evening TV news. I don't regularly check the news just because I feel like a lot of it's really negative. I have thought about how news can be not true when it's posted online on these different social media platforms because they're not fact-checked or through official news outlets. I've thought about how posted news uh, may not be factual. But the idea of fake news and it being plastered on social media is very, very uh, true. It can be very skewed because that is all of the information that you get and a lot of people choose to control that or bend it to one direction. There are people out there who will um, create some sort of fear or some sort of excitement or some sort of nervousness that isn't truly you know, real or part of real life. If you're ever reading news online from a social media outlet, you should do your own fact checking. Do research on your own. And I'm careful to read from multiple sources. Social media only displays the best of people and sometimes you're at your worst and it'll make you feel bad. People who do post need to do so in a way that is uniting of people and not dividing of people. I think we need to be careful with the things that we say. Of course, anywhere you go, there's always a negative side to anything. Um, any platform, innovative business idea, anything that you use um, will always have some sort of drawback. Um, but I think social media has really innovated and changed the lives of hundreds and millions of people around the world.
Thank you so much for watching my documentary, Mixed Message Media. If you have any questions, comments, or want to ask how I was able to put this project together, please reach out to me using the email listed below. And these are the sources that I use for my project. Thank you.